Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting system of equations for real values of x and y. Equations are x square plus y cube equal to 65, x square times y cube equal to 64. I will solve this question in four different ways. So let me begin this video by writing method number one. And from second equation, one important point we can write, x can't be zero and y can't be zero as they are in product. Now I will use substitution. I will consider x square is equal to a and y cube I will consider b. Let us reframe our equations first. I will be writing a plus b equal to 65 a times b equal to 64. Now I can use quadratic also but in this method I am solving using algebraic formula. So let me write one identity or formula of algebra. It is a minus b whole square equal to a plus b whole square minus 4ab. Let's put the value a plus b is 65 minus 4 times AB is 64. In next step, we can write 65 square minus 256. 65 square minus 16 square. Difference of two squares. A square minus B square. A plus B times A minus B. 65 plus 16 is 81. 65 minus 16 is 49. So it is 9 square times 7 square. Exponent is same. So I can take the product in the basis. 9 times 7, 63 whole square. And left hand side it is a minus b whole square. After taking a square root, I can write a minus b equal to plus minus 63. Now a minus b is known, a plus b is already known. Now I will add and subtract both the equations. So let me write here a plus b equal to 65 equation number 1 and a minus b equal to plus minus 63. Let me add. 2a equal to 65 plus minus 63. Consideration of plus sign will give us 128. With minus sign it will be 2. Divide both sides with 2. a equal to 128 over 2 64. 2 over 2 1. Now second point I will write that is the value of b. From equation a plus b equal to 65, if a is 64, then b value will be 1. And once a is 1, then b will be 64. Now what is a? a is x square and b is y cube. So let me write here x square and let me write here y cube. So I will write for x square equal to 64, y cube equal to 1. This is our first set of solution. And for x square is equal to 1, this value. Then y cube equal to 64. Now I will write our final answer. By this method, it would be x is equal to plus minus 4, plus minus 8 not 4. x square is equal to 64. So x will be equal to plus minus 8. y cube equal to 1 that means y equal to 1. Second set x square is equal to 1 that means x is equal to plus minus 1 after taking square root and y cube equal to 64. I can write it is 4 cube so y equal to 4. This is our complete solution. In terms of ordered pairs, I can write 8, 1, 
माइनस एट कॉमा वन आई कैन राइट वन कॉमा फोर एंड माइनस वन कॉमा फोर दिस इज अवर सोल्यूशन नाउ मेथड नंबर टू मेथड नंबर टू आई विल कैलकुलेट वाई क्यूब फ्रॉम हेयर एंड आई विल पुट एंड आई विल फ्रेम क्वाटिक इक्वेशन सो लेट मी राइट वाई क्यूब वैल्यू फ्रॉम सेकेंड इक्वेशन सो आई विल बी राइटिंग मेथड नंबर टू y cube equal to 64 over x square as we have already discussed x cannot be zero now i will put this value in equation 1 so our equation will become x square plus 64 over x square equal to 65 now let us multiply both sides with x square it will become x power 4 Plus sixty four equal to sixty five x square. I will write x power four minus sixty five x square plus sixty four equal to zero. Now I will use factorization. So I can split our central term as x power four minus x square minus sixty four x square. If you will take product. You will get sixty-four equal to zero. Now I can take x square common, so it would be x square minus one. And if I will take minus sixty-four common in bracket x square minus one equal to zero. After taking x square minus one common, it would be x square minus sixty-four equal to zero. So from here. we are having x square is equal to 1 and 64 now what is y c y cube equal to 64 over x square so similarly i will write here y cube 64 over x square so 64 over x square for this one and 64 over x square x square is 64 so this value will become 64 and 1 now you can see x square is equal to 1 y cube equal to 64 so let me write again so i will be writing let me write here x square is equal to 1 for this case y cube equal to 64 let's find out solution so x will be equal to plus minus 1 and why i will write four this is our first set of solution now from second set means from this and this i will write x square is equal to 64 y cube equal to 1 so x will be equal to plus minus 8 taking square root and it is cube so y will be equal to 1 so again we are having same set of solutions now method number 3 using reciprocal equations so i will write that equation first x square let me write method 3 x square plus 64 over x square calculating y cube from here and putting in the first equation 64 over x square equal to 65 now if you will check only it is 8 square so i will be writing x square plus 8 square over x square if i will add 16 to both sides see what will happen left hand side will be having perfect square it is x plus 8 over x whole square just check x square is there 8 over x whole square that is 8 square over x square is there 2 ab so x will be cancelled out 2 times 8 is 16 so left hand side becomes x plus 8 over x whole square and right hand side is 81 it is equal to 9 square after taking a square root both sides x plus 8 over x equal to plus minus 9 now i can frame two quadratic equations how it would be i will write multiplying both sides with x so 
तो x स्क्वायर प्लस एट इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस नाइन टाइम्स एक्स टेक ऑल द टर्म टू वन साइड x स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस नाइन एक्स प्लस एट इक्वल टू जीरो और यू कैन राइट माइनस प्लस ऑल्सो सो वी हैव एक्चुअली टू क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन लेट सॉल्व आई विल बी राइटिंग लेट मी सॉल्व वन इक्वेशन है एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन एक्स प्लस एट इक्वल टू जीरो आई विल स्प्लिट अवर सेंट्रल टर्म एज एट एक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस एट नाउ आई विल टेक एक्स कॉमन एक्स प्लस एट वन कॉमन एक्स प्लस एट इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स प्लस एट इज ओवरऑल कॉमन सो इन ब्रैकेट इट वुड बी एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी आर हैविंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन एंड माइनस एट स्ट्रेट अवे एक्स वैल्यूज नाउ आई विल कंसिडर दिस माइनस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सो इक्वेशन विल बी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन एक्स प्लस एट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन एक्स प्लस एट इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ आई विल स्प्लिट अवर सेंट्रल टर्म दिस टाइम एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स माइनस एक्स प्लस एट इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ आई विल टेक इट इज एक्स कॉमन एक्स माइनस एट माइनस वन कॉमन एक्स माइनस एट जीरो टेक एक्स माइनस एट कॉमन सो इट वुड बी इन द ब्रैकेट एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम हेयर आई एम हैविंग वन एंड एट नाउ यू कैन सी एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एंड एट and the earlier equation it was x equal to minus 1 and minus 8 now we can write x is equal to overall values minus 1 minus 8 plus 1 plus 8 so i can write x is equal to plus minus 1 and plus minus 8 now i will calculate y cube y cube is equal to from here y cube is equal to 64 over x square so let me write here x square directly it would be 1 and 8 square so it is 1 square is 1 so 1 and 64 now i will write straight away y cube equal to 64 over 1 and second value i will write 64 over x square it is 64 so values are same 64 and 1 so from here i can conclude y is equal to 4 and 1 so again i can write our solutions are let me write in terms of ordered pair it would be 1 4 then i will write minus 1 4 then i will write 8 1 then i will be writing Minus eight and one. Now method number four. I will consider method number four will be using Vita's method. Consider there are two equations. Let me write here x square plus y cube equal to sixty five and x square times y cube equal to sixty four. Consider one quadratic equation is there whose roots are x square and y cube x square and y cube means one quadratic equation whose roots are x square and y cube then it is sum of roots and second equation is product of roots so i can write our equation because sum is 65 product is 64 so let me consider variable k minus sum of roots so 65k plus product of roots 64 equal to 0 now this is one quadratic equation we can split in terms of minus 64k minus k plus 64 equal to 0 take k common k minus 64 
minus 1 common k minus 64 equal to 0. k minus 64 is overall common k minus 1 equal to 0. So from here k is equal to 1 and 64. Now question is what is k? k is our roots of quadratic equation. That means x square and y cube. So I will frame like this x square is equal to 1. See the first set and y cube equal to 64. One root is x square, another root is y cube. And if I am taking x square is equal to 64, then y cube would be 1. Let's solve. x square is equal to 1, then x is equal to plus minus 1 from this. So I can write x is equal to plus minus 1 and y will be 4. y cube is 64. It is 4 cube. So y equal to 4. This is a pair of solution. Now come to this system. x square is 64. So x will be plus minus 8. y cube is 1. Then I will be writing y equal to 1. Again, same set of solutions. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video friends. Good luck. Bye-bye.